Well, let me go back to your playing career real quick. Give me, give me your favorite moment when you played, you know, or, or a story. I mean, some of these guys that you played with, I think in the late seventies, and you already named some of the names of the people that you've, I mean, a Bill Russell story and a Wilt Chamberlain story. You can't get better than that when you're talking to a former NBA player, but tell me about some of your experiences and in, in maybe your favorite moment when you were a player. Well, uh, I can tell you a couple others that kind of top the Bill Russell and the, uh, the Will Chamberlain in some ways for me, it does at least because the one time was playing uh, the first time we were going to play against the 76ers. Well, I, I knew who played for the Sixers at the time. And there's one guy, it would be like playing against LeBron James today. You know, you'd go, I, I can't believe I'm on the same floor with him. <laughs> and I want to play against Dr. J, you know, uh, Julius Irving. And here he is, you know, six, seven guy that can just jump out of the gym. And I, he's one of the greatest players ever. And, I'm thinking, I'm going to be on the same floor with Dr. J. <laughs> on the same floor with him, my coach has me guarding him. I don't know why. I, he comes down the floor when I get into the game, because I didn't start that game. I was a rookie. And I get into the game, and you can see it. I'm, I'm down ready to play some defense on Dr. J. He comes coming down the floor, dribbling the ball, and he gets this look in his eye like, I got the rookie. And I knew what he was going to try to do, and I determined I wasn't going to be poster boy. And I mean, it's kind of embarrassing because here I was ready to play uh, D against the guy and he picked that ball up on the dribble from so far out. I thought, what is this idiot doing? And he jumped and I thought, that's nuts. And I had a good vertical. I had a 35 inch vertical could almost hit my head on the rim. I could dunk hard, but I'm watching a guy that he literally launched off of the floor and he went up. I could not believe what he did, how how high he went up in the air and what was going on. And as he came, I, he jumped and came right at me. And I thought, it doesn't matter. He's going to come right at me. He's going to get an offense foul called on him. And I'm going to be known as the greatest defensive rookie in the game. <laughs> <laughs> and he came for 20 feet right at me. And then I'd never seen any man do it before, but he had the most incredible body control. He turned sideways, came around the side of me and dunked and hit my shoulder and I threw backwards like oh like he'd nailed me he they didn't get a I didn't get a foul or anything and he dunked harshly on me let me tell you I mean he threw it down well then we beat him that night we had a really good team and so we beat him but the next morning I'm looking at the papers please don't let there be anything in the paper that comes out dealing with this here and sure enough papers come out there's nothing in it Basketball Digest, come, nothing in the Phoenix Papers, fortunately, of a picture of me getting dunked on. Basketball Digest, nothing. Sports Illustrated, nothing. I think I made it. Ten years later, I'm in Kenya, East Africa, working at a missionary kids boarding school. A kid from Ethiopia comes, and it's amazing. I, he comes back with a giant encyclopedia from the States, and he can't wait to find me. It's got one article and one picture on everything that's ever happened in the history of the world. And he, he, hits, he comes to me. And he says, Mr. Forrest, you're not going to believe this. He opens it up to the page that has one article this big on 100 years of basketball and one stinking picture on 100 years of basketball. And it's Dr. J dunking nasty on me. And he made, he made 100 copies of it and put it all over the school. I was working at a, a missionary kids boarding school. And for 500 students, he made 100 copies, put them everywhere. So... I, I actually incorporate that into a message that I do called winners and losers, because I ask people, was I a loser because I got dunked on by Dr. J? You know, I dunked over Kareem the day my son was born. That happens. You dunk on somebody one way or the other, but that's not what, what makes somebody a, win, a winner or a loser. And I talk about a winner is somebody that, that knows not only who they are, but whose they are. And then a loser, Jesus asked it best when he asked, what is a profit a man if he gains the whole world? yet loses his own soul. The loser is the person that maybe gets everything there is to get out of this life, but they end up spending eternity in hell separated from God because they missed out on the one thing that God had in store for them. The one thing he wanted, relationship with his son, Jesus.